My name is Adam Kokesh. Sure. Well, a lot of Ron Paul supporters have been pretty upset with the fact that he has gotten more campaign contributions from active duty troops than all other candidates, including Obama, put together, and yet the media seems to do everything it can to avoid this inconvenient fact about Ron Paul. And if it was any other candidate you could say that about, you can imagine what the media would be saying. Well, Mitt Romney seems to have the support of the military, so this race is pretty much over and he's pretty much assured the presidency. But if it's Ron Paul, it couldn't possibly be because they can't understand that the troops don't like being sent to wars without having a clear moral imperative. And so what we're going to be doing on February 20th on President's Day is hosting the Ron Paul is the Choice of the Troops March on the White House. We're inviting active duty and veterans to join us and march in formation. Proof of service will be required. We'll be gathering. Uh, we, we, the details are subject to change as per the permitting process, but we intend to gather at noon at the base of the Washington Monument and march just the two blocks up to the White House, turn in formation, and with our facing the White House in formation, do an about face to turn our backs that way and render a hand salute to a folded American flag and hold it for as many seconds as soldiers have died in Iraq and Afghanistan since Obama took office. We'll then do an order arms and march silently away, but I think it's time we send a message to the nation that Ron Paul is the choice of the troops. And that's all this is about. We're going to let everybody come there and have their voice heard as veterans, as active duty troops. We're going to be there in solidarity with Corporal Jesse Thorson, who in Iowa had the courage to come out and support Ron Paul in uniform and say that it's the, the, the regulations and, and, and the BS and, and everything about the American political dialogue managed by the mainstream media has been engineered to keep the voices of the active duty troops and the soldiers out of the conversation. Well, not anymore. And it's time to show them who the choice of the troops are, and it's Ron Paul for president.